Hello and welcome back. I'm Wolfnip and today we're gonna make the most delicious stock I've ever tasted. So I'm using chicken in the stock so the first thing I did was just like put that in the oven and then cook it and I uh, got the vegetables out. Just using like regular cheap vegetables here, cutting up the carrots, getting them ready and what you can use in this stock is basically anything that you have on hand that you think will taste nice. Uh, such a professional recipe. Um, but yeah, put all the peelings, put the whole thing in there. Um, I'm, I'm cutting this up uh, into smaller pieces as well because I'm going to use it for my lunch and also dinner. And I just do it all in one so I don't have to stand there cooking all day. Same with celery. Celery is really nice for stock. Um, I haven't really used chilies before but I thought I'd try it out. And let me tell you, you should definitely put it in. It creates this um, very deep uh, spiciness. It's not hot at all but, um, well, it is a little bit. Um, but it's just this... It's this growing heat that is uh, it's amazing and I just want to give a moment to this new chopping technique that I just learned um, what you do is that you point your knife um, diagonally into the onion and when you start dicing that it will turn into perfect little squares well not squares but tiny pieces <laughs> And I didn't know of this until recently, so I thought I'd just uh, share that on. If you didn't know, if you were doing like the uh, diagonally and then the horizontally <laughs> cutting, then don't do that anymore. Just do it like this and I promise you, you'll never go back. Moving on, just chopping up the onions in like huge pieces. This pot is getting really full. <laughs> and don't be afraid to put in the peelings, everything. Everything that isn't like rotten or, you know, gone bad. That's, uh, that's perfect. Make sure to spice up your stock. I'm just using peppercorns and bay leaf and salt. And that's basically it. And then I put some sesame seeds in another pan because I'm gonna make lunch. Hi people, and I'm back cooking again. <laughs> it's not case cooking, <laughs> but it could be. <laughs> this is me trying to make rice cakes. I did this uh, like a week earlier or something like that. I can't remember anymore. But um, yeah, I <laughs> tried to do this. I followed the recipe exactly to how I was supposed to. Followed Ma Manchi's um, recipe for this. So uh, it's uh, <laughs> I don't know how, how to pronounce it, but it's um, uh, long rice cakes you can have in soups or in noodle dishes and let me tell you it was so freaking difficult to get this needed i heated it up in the microwave and i think that's where i went wrong i think i needed it almost perfectly and then i put it in the microwave and overcooked it and then i needed it a little bit more it was so hard i i tried my best and then i was supposed to heat it up again and I think that's where it really went wrong. Some of the edges were just so hard. So I took it out again of the bowl and I realized I didn't have any plastic gloves that were food safe. So I had to do this with my hands and it was so hot. Uh, yeah, well, I found this meat hammer <laughs> and I think that was perfect for the job. I just knocked the hell out of it. Just did this for a long time and I think I almost made it the way it's supposed to but it wasn't white <laughs> it was this uh, skin color almost <laughs> and some of the edges like you see me cutting off here it felt like a really hard callus like what you get on your feet um I just went with it and tried to make the best out of it rolled it up like I was supposed to, divided it into these <laughs> nasty ass shapes, trying to uh, create some sausage looking pieces out of them, rolled 
and then they just shrunk back in and it was it was so warm to do this cut them up just like Manji did and hers looked professional and really tasty she said that you can freeze them so that's what i did just cover them up with the sesame oil and i didn't want to throw away the little bits um she said that you could make another one out of them but i so that was my adventure with the rice cakes you see that i've got them out or if you could see we're in heaven now apparently <laughs> and I'm just cutting up some cucumber and radish for a little side salad for my lunch. Still toasting those sesame seeds. I put it on a pretty low heat. I should have just gone a bit harder in with the heat there. But I was multitasking and doing stuff that I haven't done before. Um, so yeah, I just did things a bit slower. So you can see me just here frying up some onions and garlic. This is for my um, noodles that I was gonna have for lunch. Use some stock in it as well. And um, yeah, I would really recommend making this also using the stock, the finished stock um, for um, in the ramen. Is uh, It would be amazing. We used the rest of it for risotto. So I am out now. But uh, next time I will make more. I wish I had a bigger pot. This pot is pretty big. It's I think it's got like five liters almost. Four or five liters in it. And it's still not big enough. Because so, at this point we still don't have the chicken in it. It's still just the vegetables and they're taking up all the room. But that's why I put it on early as well. So that that can, um, that can reduce a bit. The vegetables can go soft and leave space. So yeah, we finished up the noodles. Gonna <laughs> put in those little rice cakes. They look, they look all right. Um, yeah, they. I think they. I never tasted them. You see, I never tasted them made properly. So I'm just assuming this is kind of it. Maybe made a little uh, egg <laughs> here as well, covering up with uh, some delicious. Uh, sesame seeds and and spring onions got myself a drink and a banana and this is it hmm it's good <laughs> tastes like cucumber well <clears throat> I am not completely sure about these rice cakes. I think I like they were they were kind of nice, but I also have this thing with meat, and I know it's it's not got any uh, meat product in it. But I got this thing with certain kinds of foods, especially meat, that I start thinking about things that I find disgusting. Like I was chewing this, and I was thinking of rot and snails and <laughs> just nasty shit and it kind of made me oh just look at it oh i don't like oh no <laughs> uh yeah i don't know if this was a favorite i think i think for me to start liking rice cakes i will eat them as a sweet thing instead of a savory spicy one like this was but all in all lunch was great finished off the chicken in the oven you can see it is perfectly cooked that leg just flew off <laughs> so I'm just separating the pieces that we will eat for our lunch meat and all the rest of the meat and bones and liquid goes into the stock so usually I cook this stock for around four hours the vegetables are cooked alone for an hour and then the meat was in there for probably like more or less three hours the bones are still intact and uh, the smaller the the big uh, bones from the thighs and the wings are still intact but the smaller ones have dissolved quite a lot 
but if you wanted to and you had the time then just keep cooking it uh, you can basically not go wrong i don't know what happens when the bones finally break but there is such a thing called bone meal soup so maybe you're just supposed to or maybe that's under a pressure cooker i don't know But look at it, look at it though. Oh, it looks so amazing. It looks like the water in Fievel goes west. The second one where she sings Tanya. Oh, and it was so amazing. It was super rich in flavor. It was, um, it tasted fatty, but not greasy. It was like this mellow spiciness from all of the herbs and the chilies. And then it just it just felt like a hug. And for dinner I just made a really simple soup. So the vegetables that I chopped up earlier, onion, garlic, celery, um, carrot fry that up a bit and then pour the stock over it and some chicken that I just pulled off some croutons we had left over and some dill because I love dill <laughs> and this is it it's uh, a really simple soup only took like five hours to make no but as soon as you got the stock and I if you have the room if you have the pots for it then just make a bigger portion And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have anything on your mind, please leave it down in the comments. If you'd like to support me, please consider to like, share and subscribe. And um, yeah, that's it. Bye.